Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. In today's reading, we're gonna be looking at your person's thoughts, feelings towards you. What do they think about you? What message do they have for you? What would they tell you if they could? And what are their intentions for the future? All right, so let's jump right in and see what your person is thinking or feeling about you for Capricorn. What do they think about about? I can't even speak. What do they think about Capricorn at this time? What are they thinking, feeling about Capricorn? Wow, the fool. So I, I'm getting exciting. That's the word I'm getting, exciting. So there's something exciting about you or like risky. Um, there's a lot of energy from this card. Typically the fool is about taking risks, a leap of faith into the unknown, a new start, a new journey. What are they thinking about Capricorn? What are they thinking about Capricorn? Six of Pentacles. I'm getting it could go either way with that card. This is very interesting. Normally the Six of Coin is a card about balance, give and take, right? You give a little, you receive a little back. But I'm getting more like, this could go either way, why? Six of Swords, Knight of Coin, Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. So I feel like this person, they have some sort of expectation or goal with you. They already know where they're headed with you or what they wish they could make happen with you. But for some reason, there's like a bit of a, I'm picturing like someone trying to open a door and they can't open it. Okay, let's keep going because I'm going to clarify these with a different deck. What message do they have for Capricorn? What do they wish they could tell Capricorn right now, Spirit? What do they wish they could tell Capricorn? Eight of Wands. Okay, so they wish they could communicate here quickly, take action quickly as well. The Eight of Wands is very quick action or communication. And the Eight of Coin. So working hard, putting in effort, communicating again a lot of energy here like i'm getting like a flurry of energy like someone is very active or very actively thinking about you what are their intentions for the future what are this person's intentions for the future what are their intentions the star aquarius energy there healing hope renewal hoping for a renewal, hoping for healing. And the Empress, wow. Bottom of the deck, the devil. There you are, Capricorn, that's your major arcana. I think they view you as an Empress energy. The Empress brings a lot to the table. It's like they're hoping for a win or hoping to, yeah, there's the lovers. Gemini energy. They want to be with you, this person. They might feel a connection with you, feel like they could have a lot of abundance, growth with you, something very special. What's this person's overall energy towards Capricorn? What is their overall energy spirit? What is their overall energy? towards Capricorn. Hidden feelings and past life. Would it, would it be a Capricorn reading without someone hiding their feelings about you? What is going on? <laughs> so I feel like this person obviously has not expressed themselves, but wishes they could. This person could be someone from your past or a past life connection. Hmm. Let's get some clarity here because I feel like this could go in all kinds of different ways depending on what we clarify. Get some clarity with my little deck here. Clarity please for Capricorn. Need to know. Need to know.
Okay, tell me about the Fool and the Six of Coin. This is how they view you, how they think about you, their feelings here. Tell me about the Fool and the Six of Coin. What do we need to know? Ace of Cups. Oh yeah, there's definitely a lot of um, interest. And almost like this energy of a new start, Ace of Cups and the Fool. New love, or, you know, new beginning in love. Tell me about the Fool and the Six of Coin. The Page of Swords. Okay, Eight of Wands, Page of Swords, Communication. Tell me about the Fool and the Six of Coin. The Star again. This person, wow, the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. They want to talk to you. I think they're, it would be risky for them to approach you. That's how they think of it. I am hoping for the best. Will my feelings be reciprocated? Six of pentacles. Will, you know, will my affections be accepted? I get the feeling that this person, they might be coming towards you in the future. Like maybe you don't have a history with them necessarily but they might be coming in because this two of cups in past life it could be a past life connection coming in that starts something new it's it's this person wants to talk to you though like they would be the ones that need to reach out and express their feelings to you and for some reason there's a lot of excitement this could be like a nervous anxious energy as well What do they wish they could tell you? Eight of Wands, Eight of Coin. What do we need to know about the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Coin? Spirit, what do we need to know? The Eight of Wands, Eight of Coin. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. A lot of attraction here. King of Wands, um, very charismatic. You could be meeting this person at work, at school, at some sort of like networking event the higher font taurus energy okay very interesting because the king of wands and the higher font these two qualities together are actually very attractive to me <laughs> because the king of wands is like a lot of chemistry a lot of like attraction charisma um almost like a little energy of someone that is very um, sexy, right? The King of Wands. But the higher font is someone that does things by the book, very traditional, conservative in their approach. So this is someone that has it all, in my opinion, or perhaps they're trying to figure out which way they can um, approach you here. Should I be my sexy King of Wands self or should I be more conservative? <laughs> Tell me about the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you definitely, this is this could be like a work, yeah, Three of Pentacles. This could be a work situation. And, you know, Capricorn, you've had this reading before. Someone in your midst is interested. Whether you work with them, you could work on a project with them. They could want to work something out with you as well. But I'm just getting that for a lot of you, this is new energy. There's a lot of, like, energy coming from this um, spread right now. I think they wish they could tell you they were interested. I, I don't know why they're holding that back. Tell me about the star and the empress. This is like their intentions for the future here. Tell me about the star and the empress. Wow, the ace of wands and the three of cups. Tell me about the star and the empress. Yeah, again, a lot of passion, ace of wands. Um, again, a new beginning, a new start is as an ace. Eight of Cups. Can we get one more? Star and the Empress. Aces are all about new beginnings. Tell me about the Star and the Ace. I mean, the Empress. Four of Cups. Okay. Eight of Swords. I, you know, this is... This could go in so many different ways. So I'm just going to kind of run through the scenarios that I see 
Eight of Swords with the Four of Cups. This is fear of rejection, fear of missing out, fear of a missed opportunity, etc., etc., etc. The Eight of Cups, though, is interesting because Eight of Cups is about walking away from something and headed towards something better. For some of you, this person might be leaving a job, a position, something like that in order to be with you. They could be leaving a third party as well because the Three of Cups is here. But when I saw the Three of Cups and the Ace of Wands, I thought of like a party, an event where the sparks fly. That's where you notice each other. They spot you from across the room kind of thing. Or your chemistry is just very like, it's, it's almost like instant. Instant chemistry and attraction with this individual. I feel like for some of you, if you work with this person, there's almost like this energy of like, we really shouldn't be doing this. Or like holding back your attraction, holding back your chemistry, you know, trying not to start anything that might end badly. I do feel that all over this reading. But I feel like in the future, they're hoping that this goes their way, that you have abundance, that you have, you know, mutual, that your feelings are mutual, right? They're hoping that you feel the same way, that you're in the same, on the same page as them. What do they wish they could tell Capricorn? What messages do they have for Capricorn, please? What messages do they have for Capricorn? I regret what happened. Okay, so maybe there is some sort of history here. Hmm. Oh, why would they regret what happened? Maybe this makes more sense to you guys watching. I'm not giving up. Okay, so maybe you have a history with this person. And that's why they're so nervous about coming forward. But I'm also getting for some of you, maybe if this is someone you work with, maybe you slipped one night and you both regret it. Or you, or you told this person this isn't a good idea. Maybe in the past you tried to date, but something happened and you like were like, I'm not interested anymore. And now years have passed. Because I don't get that this is... I just don't pick up from this energy that this is someone that you have a long history with. Please forgive me at the bottom of the deck. Jesus, what happened? Whoever they are, they must have really screwed up in the past. And now it's like, I think if this happened in the distance past, distant past, let me know in the comments. Because I feel like whatever it was, like this person missed out on a chance with you. And I think that now they're hoping for a, a chance. Yeah, I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. Maybe they learned a karmic lesson. Maybe they learned from all of their mistakes here. Tell me more of the Capricorn. I know that I crossed the line with you. Yeah, whoever this is, there's definitely something that I feel affects their chances now. I don't think you've forgotten this. I think that's why they're so nervous or anxious or, you know, they're really wanting to... It's like they're really hoping that it's not too late. I love you unconditionally at the bottom of the deck. But I feel like this is someone that's hoping that you don't completely like cross them off your list. But I don't know. It, it seems like they have a lot to apologize for. You know, and, and for some of you, this could be like an old flame that ended, it ended badly between you and then time passes and you end up in the same job or you end up in the same place or there's someone's birthday party or something and you both see each other there and there's still a connection and so this person's hoping that maybe you are still interested that's kind of how i'm taking this energy let me know if that resonates for you in the comments because i do feel like for some of you like I, i'm just not getting that you're together with this person and this is all happening so that's what I have for you, Capricorn. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe before you head out. Um, I would love to have you if you haven't subscribed yet. 
Um, there's also a thanks button if you'd like to leave a donation. It's right underneath the title of this video. Just swipe right with your finger. Uh, thank you so much to everyone that considers leaving a donation. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.